God bless you again. Global Christian friends, we love you. God bless the American people. God bless the American government. John's Gospel, chapter 8, verse 40. But now you seek to kill me, a man that have told you the truth, which I have heard of God. This did not Abraham. Abraham did try to kill Melchizedek when he called him uh, the servant of the Most High God. He took what Melchizedek told him, and because of that, he came to be, he became to be the father of nations because of that. He said in verse 41, you do the deeds of your father. Then said the end of Jesus, we be not born of fornication. We have one father, even God. Oh, that just sounds so nice, doesn't it? We're not born of fornication. These are believers talking to him, now mind you. We have one Father, even God. Verse 42, Jesus said unto them, Now, if God were your Father, guess what? You would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from God. And neither came I of myself, but what? But God sent me. Now think about that statement. Why would God send anybody to this earth, planet earth? Think about that statement. God who made the heaven and the earth why would he send anyone to this planet Earth knowing the conditions of the planet Earth and the condition of the world? Oh, the Earth is a beautiful place. We all agree to that. Uh, it was meant to be what it did not become. So because of that, it has to be destroyed. All right, we're reading where it says there's no, uh, 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 there's no night, there's no day, there's no sun, there's no moon, there's no stars. Think about that statement. No night, no moon, no sun, no stars. Then how are you going to get light? The Bible is that God and the Lamb is the light. That's who is the light. So God sent him into the world. I proceeded forth and came from God. What a statement that is, God who is spirit. And I didn't come of myself, but he sent me. God sent Jesus into the world. He Look, I mean, after all, he said, I'm from, look, look, if you went back to the beginning, what did John the Baptist say? John the Baptist said, I didn't know him, but he that sent me, John the Baptist said, to baptize with water, the same said unto me, upon whom you see the Spirit descend and remain on him, he it is that baptized with the Holy Ghost and with fire. And John said, I saw and bear record that he's the one. So he has a record from John the Baptist that God sent him as a testimony. I didn't come of my own, but he sent me. And he said in verse 43, why do you not understand my speech? I'll tell you how it come. Because you cannot hear my word. There has to be something inside of you to cause you to hear my word and offer you to hear my word. It's like Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. They know my voice. Another voice they will not follow. 
there is an anatomy within you to let you know that I hear his voice. As a matter of fact, we just said that shortly ago that they who are of God uh, are hearing God's word. That's 847. So uh, uh, you can't hear my speech because you can't hear my word. My speech is not plain to you. I'm speaking something else to you. You're speaking perhaps Greek. I'm speaking Hebrew. And we've not made the translation yet. And that's a wonderful long story there about the first translation of the first Hebrew Bible to the Greek language. Great understanding there. Sometime, God bless, we may be able to get into that in these short excursions, but we're taking advantage of the time. We're redeeming the time. Verse 44. You are of your father, the adversary. And the lust of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth. Why? Because there is no truth in him. How can you abide in the truth when there is no truth in you that calls you to abide? Uh, if you don't have the truth, then I mean the truth. We know what this what, what the hope is. Hope is the anchor of the soul, the Bible said. And the truth is the anchor of your life. Even from the beginning. I'm the way, the truth, and the life, he said. And you have to understand that. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth. Just like the servant don't abide in the house forever, he abode not in the truth. How come? Because there is no truth in him. Just like in the servant, there is not enough eternal life within the servant to abide in the house forever. Same difference. Because there is no truth in him, uh, just like there is no sin in him uh, and no doctors in God. Uh, there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Think about that statement. From the beginning, he was a liar and the father of it. From the beginning. Think about that statement. So there has been deception in the world since the very beginning of the world. There has been deception in the world. There had been darkness in the world. Now we get close enough and the Lord show us, we'll show you what uh, dark energy and dark matter is according to scripture. God said the same, according to scripture, I said, not according to me, but according to scripture. Uh, science may look at it from another perspective. That's okay. We look at things from the scriptures because we are at home in our element in the scripture. All right. You may be at home, uh, uh, home in your mansion here on earth somewhere uh, with eight or 10 bathrooms. That's okay. All right. I'm at home in the KJV. Okay, that's my mansion here on earth. All right. God bless you, global Christian friends. God bless the American people and government.